Greetings and welcome to my World of Tanks video. I have an exciting armadillo game to show you. And let's just say there were six light tanks on each team and it was glorious. So one thing you got to be careful though, the uh, this is the actual game recording and well, let's just say some of the language would not be kid friendly very minor but i wanted to warn you up front so you don't get you know surprised or whatever with what's going on let me uh, get this clip for you and be right back okay we just started the game basically we've just gotten into the engagement as you can see no kills have been made this moment can't hear my voice for some reason. I don't know why. Doesn't really matter. So as you can see, there's you know, like I said, six light tanks. It's fantastic. And we were talking on the headsets which is kind of rare these days and coordinating our attacks to a degree it was really nice I told this guy I was right behind him so now you know whoever we run into is gonna face not one but count them two armadillos doesn't go well for this guy and this is the key tactic when you're playing, pardon me, sir. That's my fault. We made our strafing run. He's dead now. I mean, we kept on going. I only stopped because I ran into my own guy. Ain't nobody perfect. But this is one of the things that happens in light tanks. We're doing at ultra speed. Sometimes run into the edge of the map or to another one of your players because this guy rolls a hundred so. yeah. flat ground. Hey, uh, tunes on you, tunes on you. Our coordinated attacks, which generally don't happen very often, are just you know running roughshod over these guys. I could have shot that BMP guy, but I was tailing this one guy, and I figured I'm gonna stay on him as long as I can because I have the advantage position rather than changing direction and going after the BMP. And this is an advanced technique. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, and then just go away. Don't get caught up in trying to gun him down. Let somebody else do it if you have to. And I told those guys, this doesn't happen very often because people are trying to get kills for themselves versus winning the game. So what you saw me do is go in there, I made a, I made a buzz on that guy, drilled him and just kept on going. And then that other medium tank came up that I bumped into. Let him finish him off. It doesn't matter. I go, do you want to win or do you want to make kills? We've all been in games where we made kills and didn't win. And it's terrible. I had a game once where I made seven kills and we lost. Because seven wasn't enough. Yeah, I needed to make eight to win the game. Best job I ever had. No kills for me. But that game was awesome. Yeehaw! Well, there's, you know, I'm nowhere to be found. I don't care. You know why I don't care? 115,000 reasons. That's why I don't care. 6,400 commander experience. I don't care. You make more experience when you win. You're gonna make you're gonna have games where you kill four or five. Games you kill zero. But if you your team wins the game, that's to me the most important part. 
So just a second, let me get off of this. So for those of you who haven't really seen a great game for the Armadillo, I present to you that game, which was a great game for the Armadillo. I, you know, bought that. I was talking to my friends, and I bought this one. They know that I'm a light tank guy. Like, well, you're gonna get the Armadillo because when it came came available, I was like, man, I saw this one guy's video, and it was terrific. And I was thinking, man, you know, I wasn't paying attention. It didn't blah blah blah. I didn't get it, and it came back, and I was like, I have to get it. And I, you know, took me a while. I got around to it because I was trying to like, eh, it's so expensive. It was like 11300 and whatever it was to buy the armadillo. Man, that game right there shows you why I think it was worth it. I've had a lot of great games in the armadillo. I mean, you have some bad games too, of course. But the fun of the armadillo is one of the highest that I could have and that game was super fun four minute you know four minutes and change the whole video is the whole video clip is like four minutes and 15 seconds just absolutely fun excitement you know this the 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 intensity level was just terrific I think the armadillo was completely worth it to me because you're going to have this for as long as the game is available. So this was great. My friend, he decided he got, he wanted that Wolverine. He's, he, he's just entranced with rockets. And so he was just, you know, loves the Wolverine. And it's really great. He was thinking about the Armadillo and I said, no, just stick with the one. Take your Wolverine, master it. Just like I'm taking the Armadillo and I mastered it. And it's just instant fun every time you play you have an opportunity to just have a crazy game it's a really great tank unfortunately it's long gone you can't get it anymore but just one of those things hey it came back and i got it it might come back again and then you could get one but i really enjoy it i think it's a fun tank it's also a crew trainer and make a ton of experience playing this because it has a built-in um, crew bonus, you know, for your commander. So I rake it in as a crew training device. It's also, the thing that's important is that it's a fun tank to play, so you can play it a lot without getting bored. And, you know, I have it with a three-star commander, so it generates a lot of commander experience. And that's the whole thing. The tanks you have fun playing should be great places to put your three-star commanders because they generate experience for your crews and you can swap that off to other tank commanders and it's awesome so hopefully you guys enjoyed this game maybe a little bit change of pace from what you normally see or normally play i mean it's a fantastic tank so i have another video coming up in mere moments actually so look for that one that one is the uh AGS Sniper, the Era 3. So thanks for watching this video. Please like the video. It'll help a lot. Subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.